computing. The principle of quantum computing is as follows. The quantum computing applies the properties of quantum physics to process information. A number of elemental particles such as electrons or protons can be used for storing the information. Either the charge of particles or polarization acts as a representation of zero and or one. Each of these particles is known as quantum bit or qubit. The qubit is a unit of quantum information. Quantum computer uses mainly two principles of quantum mechanics, superposition and entanglement. So let's not go in detail about the quantum computing that is what is qubit and bit and etc which is your out of your syllabus. But as far as the introductory information is concerned for the quantum computing all these parameters are important. Now let's see what is superposition. A qubit can hold both values zeros and ones at the same time which known as a superposition state. Thus, at one time, the number of computations possible in a quantum computer is 2 raised to n, where n is the number of qubits used. For example, a quantum computer consists of 500 qubits has a potential to perform 2 raised to 500 calculations in a single step. That's why the speed of quantum computing is very, very high. Now, second important parameter in quantum computing is entanglement. The entanglement is correlation between particles acting as a qubits such as photons or electrons. By knowing the spin state of one entanglement particle up or down, we can know the spin of its correlated particle. Quantum entanglement allows qubits separated by distances to interact with each other instantaneously when multiple qubits act coherently they can process multiple operations simultaneously thus large information is processed within a fraction of the time so these two important parameters that is superposition and entanglement are very very important in quantum computing to process a very high operations in a fraction of seconds.